Ladies, are you over 50 and your chest decolletage area is really starting to bother you? The chest wrinkles is becoming more evident, the vertical lines, the hyperpigmentation, the sunspots, age spots, etc, etc. If so, stay tuned to find out more how we are going to fix it. Hey there, I hope you're doing great today. Before we get into this video, I've got to give you a quick intro about me. My name is Anne Britt. I'm a holistic and beauty therapist. I have been working in the skincare and beauty industry for 30 years. So if you would like skincare and beauty advice from somebody who is certified and licensed, please make sure to like and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into this video and sort out these chest wrinkles and age spots. First of all, let's talk about the cause of chest wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. So first of all, I did address and say ladies in the intro because chest wrinkles do affect ladies for obvious reasons, right? But hyperpigmentation can also affect everybody. So gentlemen, you are welcome to watch. Let's talk about the causes of these chest wrinkles. Number one is sun damage. As you can see, I'm guilty of what I'm about to tell you. So a lot of us, what we do is, especially in the summertime, oh, high protection on the face, on the neck, and we don't bother about here. So hence, damage that you've did for years is now at the surface, so now we have to try and figure out a way to reduce this. Second of all is general aging of the skin. The skin is much thinner on the chest area, and we also have general just loss of collagen and elastin, hence aging position is another cause so if you're like me and you're a side sleeper what you'll find that when you do wake up right these lines is more evident and then they kind of ease up you know as your morning progresses but they're very noticeable when you get up but the problem is these dynamic wrinkles can turn into static wrinkles which means they become permanent so they do suggest try to sleep on your back and change up the sleep position but it is kind of difficult when you're a side sleeper but anyway we're going to get into the different skincare treatments we can do let's talk about the causes of the hyperpigmentation. Well, I'm guilty of it, and um, I think we've all been guilty of it, is when we go out and it's summertime, you know, you're making sure, oh my gosh, SPF 50 on the face, on the neck, and you're rushing out the door and you're not thinking about here. Then when you're wearing, when you're a lady and you're wearing vests and summer dresses, this area is exposed. So sun damage increases and increases, like sun damage you've done from years ago, etc. is all coming to the surface. And then you end up with this, all this hyperpigmentation that you've got to try and reduce. Number two for the age spots and hyperpigmentation is just aging, right? And loss of collagen and elastin, the same thing again. So, you know, damage that we've did over the years comes up to the surface. So we're going to figure out how we can reduce this and how we can use skincare and going forward, how to prevent this from becoming any worse. So now I'm going to give you some tips. I'm also going to give you some demonstrations of skincare that we can use and what we can do to address the chest wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. So tip number one, going forward, and I have to do it also. I've been guilty of it. That's why I'm talking about it. Tip number one is sunscreen. Use a good mineral sunblock. This one is Australian Gold SPF 50. It's an antioxidant, anti-aging sunscreen. It's full of goodies such as kakadu plum, which extract, which is vitamin C. We have squalane, shea butter, many different benefits in here. I do have a video on this, but make sure you're using high sun protection. Tip number two is extremely simple, but very effective. Your skin is the biggest organ in the body. And when it's dehydrated, it becomes crepey, wrinkly, and the first sign it shows up is when you're not drinking enough water. Now they do say, try and drink eight glasses of water a day. If you're like me and you're put off by the eight glasses of water, what I find much easier to do is just drink out of a large bottle of water every day. I try and consume one of these every day. And no, I'm not showing this because it's Scottish, Highland Spring, it's just the water I like. Haha. <laughs> Tip number three, we are going to change position because I'm going to talk about exfoliation for here. You have to be, change your ingredients up because this area is much more thinner and much more sensitive just like the neck area, but we're concentrating on the chest area. So let's get to it. So tip three is exfoliation of the delicate chest area. Now what we are going to use is mandelic acid, 10% plus HA. This is from The Ordinary. The reason why we're using mandelic acid is because it's a very gentle alpha hydroxy acid, but effective, great for sensitive skin, great for sensitive skin areas, also great for skin of color. I did talk about that last time, um, last week's video. So we're going to use a few drops. This is derived from bitter almonds. So on a safe side, to be on the safe side, if you do have an nut allergy, make sure you do a patch test behind your ear 24 hours before. If you're okay, go ahead. But this is in general, very gentle, great for all skin types. 
And then mandelic acid is going to address uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, and also wrinkles. Next up, what we're going to use is alpha arbutin, 2% plus hyaluronic acid. And what this does is it's a natural antioxidant found in a bear berry plant, very gentle but effective and reduces the formation of melanin, reduces age spots, great for melasma, sunspots, etc. Very gentle, great for all skin types. We're using an alpha hydroxy acid, which is a mandelic acid. We have to be careful what we're using after, so that's why we're using alpha arbutin. And then the third step would be rock crepe repair targeted treatment. I have did an in-depth video on this, but what this contains is shea butter, jojoba seed oil, um, sunflower oil, extremely moisturizing, hydrating, contains hex hexoresorcinol, which is an antioxidant also found in whole grain wheat and rye, and that is anti-aging, brightens the skin, promotes even skin tone, brightens skin, uh, dark spots, age spots, etc. and boosts collagen production. So that's what you can do two evenings a week for your exfoliation routine for this sensitive area. Now we come to tip four, which is your AM routine. So this is what you would use in the morning. First of all, we're going to use alpha arbutin, 2% plus HA, again. Don't need to explain what this does. Next up, we're going to use Rock Multi-Correction Even Tone and Lift Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. And what this does is it reduces the look of hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, also for sagging skin, crepey skin. Now, what does this contain? This contains shea butter, my favorite, very moisturizing, hydrating. And then we also have niacinamide, which is going to address hyperpigmentation, boost collagen production, etc, etc. This also contains ascorbyl glucoside, which is a vitamin C derivative, which is brightening for the skin. Azelaic acid. And the reason why we're applying this now is because this is the one from the ordinary. This is 10% and this has silicone in there. So that's why I'm applying it last. But Azelaic acid is a natural acid found in barley, wheat and rye. It's going to gently exfoliate, mildly exfoliate the skin. Also, it is for, <clears throat> also it's going to address hyperpigmentation, great for acne, which is, you know, a different thing, but it's great for acne, rosacea, melasma, hyperpigmentation, brighten the skin etc etc number five is the pm routine now this is all about extreme hydration regeneration because the skin is more receptive at night time because it regenerates so what we're first going to use is this beautiful antioxidant from the ordinary this is pycnogenel five percent i do have an in-depth video on this do you see that beautiful red color So I'm going to apply that across the chest area. Pycnogenel is an actual antioxidant that's derived from French maritime pine trees. The two main benefits of this, but there are so many anti-aging benefits. The two main benefits of pycnogenel, this beautiful antioxidant, is for hydration and elasticity of the skin. It has the ability to bind to collagen and elastin, which protects the proteins from further degradation. So this, I actually have an in-depth video on pycnogenel. It's way too much to mention in this video, but it addresses hyperpigmentation, great for inflammatory skin conditions such as rosacea, etc. Great for all skin types. Next up, we're going to use rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary again. And I also have a video on this if you need to see. This is anti-aging. Look at that beautiful color. Boosts collagen and elastin. Um, Contains provitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, rich in linoleic and oleic acids, hydrating, moisturizing, reduces any inflammation in the skin, and also great for hyperpigmentation. Just like pycnogenel. So we're using everything for the chest wrinkles and the hyperpigmentation. We're addressing them all at once. Now, let's go on to tip six 
which would be, is there any massage we can do for the chest area? If you do not have a tool such as a gua sha tool or a roller, I'm going to show you here. So what you can do is you get your knuckles, light to medium pressure, always go out towards the armpit area, always go out the way because you're draining the lymph. Then what you can do, get your fingers and just go across, like acupressure movement. You can do each movement five times, but I'm just showing you quickly. And then to drain, you go gently across the chest area. This is going to boost the circulation, boost the collagen and elastic. Always important when you do any type of massage to always use an oil. You need that for slip for the skin. Next up, I do have an in-depth video on Gua Sha, but not on this area. So for chest wrinkles, what you can do, just start from the center. Never hold it like this, always this way. And just come across, slight to medium pressure. You can do each movement again, like five times, but I'm just showing you quickly for demonstration purpose, but you can do one side, then do the other. And this is going to improve lymphatic drainage, lymphatic circulation, boost the nutrients in the skin, get that circulation going, and boost collagen and elastin. And then finally, we can use rock crep repair to address that creppy skin get that moisture in there address them wrinkles brighten up that hyperpigmentation boost that collagen production if you are going to be like me and improve your skincare in this area and get rid of them wrinkles well reduce them and that hyperpigmentation leave me a green heart emoji in the comment section and until the next skincare video i'm going to say adios over and out and thank you for watching